Your friend Vargas has some very special ideas about police procedure. He seems to think it don't matter whether a killer's hanged or not, so long as we obey the fine well, print Captain, rule I books. don't think a policeman should work like a dog catcher. No. Putting criminals behind bars? No. In any free country, a policeman uh, is supposed to enforce the law, and the law protects the guilty as well as the innocent. Our job is tough enough. It's supposed that. to be. It has to be tough. A policeman's job is only easy in a police state. That's the whole point, Captain. Who is the boss, the cop or the law? Where's your wife, Fergus? What do you... What do you mean? You know where she is as well as I do. Sergeant Menzies drove her. She's at the motel. Oh. Huh? You're still here? Yes, I'm checking out now and joining her. Do you have a reason for no, asking, Captain? No, no, no. I have no special reason at all. Well, I just wondered. Oh, what do you know? You other pigeon in her nest. Pigeon, eh? Captain, hmm? you did buy 76 uh, of dynamite. You uh, tell your story, Vargas. I don't have to answer your question. The hired hand at your ranch says he My used ranch. 15 sticks. You've been spying on it at my ranch? I'm a foreigner? Well, my knowledge, Hank, without yeah. my permission. Uh, you used 15 sticks of dynamite, Quinn, and that leaves two sticks missing, and two sticks were found in that shoebox. He's just asking, Hank. Hank! What's that for? It's for... It's for letting him ask. Well, oh, Hank, wait a minute. 30 years, 30 years of pound beats and riding cars, 30 years of dirt and crummy pay. But 30 Hank, years I gave my life Hank, for this What's your blood pressure? And you allow this foreigner to We were just me. giving you a chance to answer, answer this. Answer, why do I have to answer him? No, sir. I won't take back that badge until the people of this county vote it back. Oh. Hank, will you listen a minute? I don't want to ever see that man in headquarters for any reason at any time. Now, you backed him up. Me? You stood by while he impugned the integrity of Captain Quinn. I tried to stop him. Do you realize I, what Parkinson had done? He's sparing hundreds of fine men. I'm and satisfied. ready to give their lives. Have you caused enough trouble? This Are you satisfied? I want you to apologize. To Quinlan? And to Chief Gould. Would you like me to get down on my knees? Do you have any decency? You will, yes. You'll crawl. Mr. Adair. I won't give you the chance to test your authority in this matter. 